Hello there, and welcome to The Long Dark. My name is Jobby Paws, and this is episode 8 of our Let's Play here, our Challenge Let's Play. So, we are on Timberwolf Mountain for 20 days. We are not going to go to the summit, and for 50 days, we are not going to use a firearm. So, that includes the hunting rifle and the distress pistol. So... As you can see, I am close to the summit. I'm at the uh, I'm at the cave, the internal cave where you get a little sunlight. This is right up by the summit. For the last couple episodes, I have been searching everywhere to try and find a dead deer that has a broken arrow inside of it. Um, since I can't use the firearm, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get the bow and arrow really quickly." But there were no arrows in the mountaineer's hut. So I've been searching for arrowheads and it's been very, very, very unsuccessful so far. So the challenge part of this challenge let's play has been pretty correct for the most part. So yeah, I dropped, uh, I found a couple of containers that had a bunch of stuff in it. I decided to come up here and I unloaded a bunch of it. Unfortunately, I don't have any, well, I don't have a whole lot of food. Let's see. I got I got cattails. That's what I've got. So, cattails will get me through the night. I'm pretty sure I only have like 2 hours of daylight left. So, I'm going to eat these cattails and then go to sleep here. Let's see, we're pretty thirsty too. All right, bed roll, and let's go to sleep for six hours. Pretty sure, dark. yeah, there you go, darkness kicks in. It's still stormy out. Drink some water and then we'll probably sleep for about seven hours and then head out. Probably still gonna be a little starving when I wake up. So I guess that's gonna be priority number one is going out and getting some form of food. So yeah, we're super starving. Drink some water. And we're gonna head out. I don't think I dropped any food. That wouldn't have been very smart if I did. Anyway, we're gonna head out of the cave. So we're going to have to search around here. I'm not going to... I know I'm on the second to top level. So I'm not going to climb up any ropes while I'm here. And it is freezing out. Great. I'm just going to run around up here because I want to say that... There could be a dead deer up here. I don't know. I know that there's no other wildlife up here, so the fact that there could be a dead deer doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it could. You never know. Gotta be optimistic, right? At this point, I am just being optimistic. Let's see here. What is this? A uh, backpack and a mountaineer rope. Backpack with nothing, mountaineer rope that's really heavy, and a piece of wood. All right. So yeah, there's the. Uh... Is it here? Yeah, there it is. There's the rope right there. So that's to go up to the summit. We're not gonna do that even though I'm really hungry right now. I'm just looking around for a dead deer. That's all I want. Dead deer, broken arrow. All right, nothing over here. I think I'm gonna throw that rope I just grabbed on here. Because this is a 
quick route to get down, if I remember correctly. Not nearing rope deployed. Oh, look, a bear. Um, I don't see any crows. Not seeing a whole lot of helpful things. So, staying a little too close to the edge for my comfort. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna head back because we're already we're already freaking cold. I guess we can grab some rose hips. Maybe make some tea. That'll fend off the hunger for a little bit, I guess. Maybe some mushrooms. Alright. If I see any more on the way back, I will grab them. Yeah, this hasn't been a whole... This is, it's just not, not successful at all. My little adventure trying to find broken arrows. I've only found one dead deer, I think. And I'm going in like the deer clearing and all these different areas that I would think would have, uh, would have dead deer in it. But not seeing anything. So we're going to go in here and warm up for an hour. Come on. How far do I have to go into the cave? Here we go. So, yeah, we're just going to just going to get in here. It's already 44 degrees. Going to Do I want to light a fire? I mean, I guess I need to drink tea, right? Here, let's light the torch on fire. And we'll do a cedar firewood. That should be good. So yeah, I'll, I'll get a little bit of water. I'm actually running pretty low on water. So I'll grab like 0.4, okay, if it lights. Start fire. Try this again. So I'll, I'll get like 0.4 gallons of water and then I'll make myself whatever tea I can. And then maybe go to sleep for an hour, maybe recover a little bit of condition. My freezing already went away, but I'm still going to bleed condition since I'm starving. Okay. Extinguish that. And... Nope. I don't have enough... Well, I might not have enough water to do it. So let me... Let me get this water going. Boil the water. Now let me see. Nope, still don't have enough. So, yeah, I don't have enough. I, I don't know how many rose hips you need. Maybe you need, like, that would be annoying if you needed 25. That would suck. You might need three reishi mushrooms. That kind of sucks. All right, well, still have no food. So let's, sure. Light our torch and head back outside.
Whoa, a little, little bit of missing geo right there. You can see, see through the rock right there. That's, that's geo. That's missing. Huh. All right. Well, we're just gonna go out here, and I'm gonna climb down this rope. <laughs> Try not to break an ankle. So we'll extinguish that. What's over here? We got a bunny rabbit. This isn't very high. Here we go. We got some more, uh, we got some more rose hips. So maybe I can make the tea now. There's the waterfall. There might be there might be some dead deer in this area. That would be nice. Okay. Maybe I can get some food in here. Perfect. Pork and beans. Pinnacle peaches. Absolutely perfect. Really heavy food, but calories of calories, right? Look at that. Just just this alone, I became encumbered. And medical kit. Painkillers. Cool, cool, cool. All of that stuff is good for the long run. It is negative two. We're gonna head back up the rope here. Actually, I'm gonna not sprint over here. I'm gonna head back up. We're gonna go back into the cave and warm up and eat some food and then head back down here. So I'll only start another fire for another you know, hour and then cook some food and come back down. So then hopefully I'll be able to uh, maybe find a dead deer. I know this hasn't been super exciting for the last couple episodes and I'm sorry, but you know, that's how this game is apparently, where, you know, you know what, uh, we're going to rest for a moment and we're going to pick up these sticks. Oh, there's a fourth stick. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's the way the game is, is it's just, you know, sometimes, see, look, no weapons in inventory. Sometimes you just have to, yeah, survive the hard way. So, so far, that's basically what we've been doing. I could probably, I mean, if I really think about it and I really spaced my food out, I could make it to day 50. I really needed to especially if I went up to the summit and got all the food up there now that I think about it so if that's the case I might push it to like day 100 so that you know it's not uh, it's not like oh if I just eat all my food slowly or whatever I can eventually use the gun it's it's supposed to be a challenge so I might have to extend some things Maybe, like, not go up to the summit until I'm out of food? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, best case scenario is I need to find the arrows so that I can... at least keep this entertaining. Come on. Come on. Find it. This is, like, the longest 12 feet in history. Oh, come on. You can make it. Cold, you're tired, you're hungry. In order to fix all those things, you need to get to the top. Alright. So we're just gonna head on into the cave. I might actually have to sleep for like six hours or something like that.
to get some of my rest back. Come on. Over the clipping. Ooh, top three bars are all empty. So yeah, this could be a uh, much needed pit stop. We're just gonna put our fire on top of it. Let me get my torch here. Use a match. Match, fire striker, doesn't really matter. And we'll light it for an hour. The best part about this is at least I'm getting my my fire skill up. I guess if you want to call that beneficiary, I don't know. Alright, put that out. And let's make let's make some of our good food. Okay, not the best. Uh, let's do like actually let's do the worst. Why not? Because if we cook it, theoretically, it should. Should gain some percentage, right? Apparently not. Alright. It should actually be something they should look into. Okay, I'm warming up. Let's do another pork and beans. Actually for the for the calories, the peaches are worse. Calories to weight ratio. And actually Actually, another thing about it, if you eat the peaches, you actually gain a little bit of thirst. Or negate a little thirst, I should actually say. So, hot open, drink that, eat that. And then, yeah, let's drop the rest of the food, because this stuff is pretty heavy. And then here, we'll drop the bad ones. We'll drop the bad ones right here. Maybe I'll do one more. Get my calories all the way up and go to sleep. For, I don't know, four hours? There should be enough to walk around over there and then come back. Alright, so no food poisoning. We're going to get the bedroll out. Get four hours of rest, and then head outside. Actually, that might not be enough. I think I'm gonna sleep through the night. Because, I mean, our encumberedness is already taking a hit. Yeah, we're just going to have to go through the whole night. And then in the morning we'll get up and head on out. Head back down there and take a big browse around. So we're just going to ignore our hunger. Let's do... Six hours. I don't know how much darkness is left. Okay, and then I guess we'll do two hours. Let the let the morning morning sun go away a little bit. 
actually. We'll go out with 10 hours. 10 hours of daylight left. That sounds pretty good. It'll be pretty warm by then, I would think. Alright. We'll walk around down there and then we will come back up and eat and drink, I guess. Alright. So let's head on back out. Yes, leave the cave. Take a swig of my Code Red Mountain Dew. The ultimate ultimate gamer drink. A little piece of Geo's. Just making me laugh. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head on down here. And see what's going on. Holy crap, negative 16. Okay, well, maybe we're not going out. We're gonna go back in for... I don't know, an hour or two, I guess. Bedroll. Let's do an hour and then we'll listen for the wind and then... Doesn't sound as bad. We'll do another hour. And then we'll head down there. Eight hours of daylight should be plenty to walk around. Alright. That sounds better. Still kind of stormy out. Four degrees. Yeah, this is not uh, not super nice. But we have to go down here and look around. I mean, can't stay in the cave forever. At least we've hit ten days, so we're halfway to the summit, or being able to climb the summit. Twenty-four degrees. Wow, it got significant. Oh, okay, thirteen. I think I was just. I was uh, in some protected area from the from the wind. Yeah, it's ten degrees out here. All right. Well, there's a deer. Fortunately, it's not dead. Check up here. Anything interesting? I guess we'll go that way. That's pointing at something. I don't know what though. Ah, looks like a dead deer. Can we be lucky? Broken arrow, broken arrow, broken arrow, broken arrow, broken arrow, 
Broken arrow! Yeah, that's what's up. We got a broken arrow. Woo! I am so excited. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, we are going to... Take all of this stuff. Might as well. We just got into the cold. Let's grab the feather, grab the other feather. Cool. So, we have officially found a broken arrow. Now I'm going to head back down to the, uh... Is that another dead deer? I think that might be a branch. Anyway, uh, we're going to head back down to the the cabin here in a little bit. I think that's just a branch. I hope I'm not walking into a bear or anything. Eric's Falls. It's not sprint. Okay, yeah, so it was just a uh, just a bush. That's good enough for me. We're gonna now head down to the uh, the cabin area. So I did realize that I think the I put a rope on one of the uh, things over there, and I actually meant I think there was one down there that I was supposed to put it on. Oh, there's a sapling over there. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab that real quick, and then I'll head back up. And then I'm going to prioritize the things that I have up there. And see what I can take down with me. And then we'll leave the rest of it up there for whenever I go to the summit. Because that's going to be the cave that I go in before I go up to the summit. So I'm going to actually, when I go up there, I'm going to store everything. I'm going to move everything down to that cave. And then from that cave, I'm going to move everything down. Uh, I think there's another cave. I want to say that's the direction I'm supposed to go. So there's another cave down that way. And then... Uh, once I get everything down there, then I'll move everything down to the Mountaineer Hut. So that I can survive there indefinitely. So once we get up here... I'm so excited that we were able to get that right at the end of the episode. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the episode when I get up here. So... Well, when I get in the cave. I like to end it somewhere where I'm... Where I feel safe, you know what I mean? It's just... It'd be weird to just stop the episode while I'm standing out in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, the next episode, that's what we're going to do, is we're going to prioritize the things that I have and head back down to the mountaineering hut to make my bow and arrows, or arrow, I should say, because I only got one, but that's all right. All right, well, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Comment below with any little comments you might want to have or think or whatever whatever you're feeling so if you like the series leave me a comment um i would actually honestly prefer a comment over a like because then i you know actually might be able to interact with you a little bit so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you next time